Hi, I'm Callie Crossley. I host Under the Radar with Callie Crossley, which airs on Sunday nights. I also host Basic Black, and I have Monday morning commentaries that air in Morning Edition here on GBH. And this is Get the Scoop. So, Julia would like to know my top book recommendations from my book club. So one of the ones I'm very high on is Horse, um, and that's by Geraldine Brooks, and her research is precise. So you're reading along, you know this is fictionalized, and your temptation is, and I follow it, is this true? And it's all true. When I say I'm really into books, I'm really into books. All right, so next question from Eliza. Do you have a favorite memory or story from your visits to Martha's Vineyard? I wear the Martha's Vineyard symbol around my neck, and many people assume that that means I own a home. No, I freeload. Just a point. You cannot freeload well unless you are an excellent guest, which I am. So we're in a restaurant one night, and in a moment, the people to the left of us started screaming, oh my God, six black Escalades just pulled up. And we're like, what, what? And then we realized, this is the president. <laughs> And there walks in the whole uh, Obama party. He was first, and then there was uh, his uh, brother-in-law, his sister. The brother-in-law was carrying the newborn for his sister, uh, and he, and uh, Valerie Jarrett, some woman I never did identify, and Michelle Obama was at the end. And she came in and so graciously said, oh, please, please don't let us disrupt your dinner. Go ahead. And we're like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And the door opens. And who should come out but his sister? Now, I'm guessing the conversation was boring for her, probably all politics all the time. So she came out and just came over to our tables. We were three women. Um, <laughs> and she said, hi. And we're like, hi. Well, people, the conversation got so relaxed. And she said, well, where do you guys like to go on the vineyard? So we're talking to her like we know her. And then, you know, after about you know, 15, 20 minutes, she went back into the private room. There's a piece about wine because you all might know I'm a big wine person. Yep, my wine glass is here. In this glass would be a lot of rosé. Not a fan of Cab, and I hate Chardonnay. Good wine is delicious. Um, there's so much good wine, uh, inexpensive now. And I have a regular food and wine segment on Under the Radar with Callie Crossley. Here's somebody, Cycle Happiness. When are you getting an e-bike? Well, I don't have any bike at all at this point. The last bike I had had the you know, the pink and white wheels that my dad gave me <laughs> with the handlebars. I'm very interested in bikes, however, and have looked at the blue bikes as a way to start um, getting back into it because I so enjoy the activity, but I need to get a helmet. I think an e-bike is pretty exciting, but you know what they say, cycle happiness, that an e-bike you're really cheating because it gives you that extra little boost. Next question, what has been your favorite recent story or segment? is one about foraging. Do you know about foraging? These are people that are going out literally into the woods and finding the mushrooms, the plants, the other thing, and being able to make meals. I was fascinated by the people who do it. I was fascinated by the people who are now learning to do it. And just about the idea, can't, it's always been there. People have been doing it forever, and now it's turned into a thing. Do you frequently get recognized in public, and if so, where? Pre-pandemic, there were two places, Crate and Barrel. <laughs> I don't know why, but if I were to enter any Crate and Barrel, 50,000 people would recognize me. I, I don't know why that is. And the TSA. Now I would say it's, of course, when I go to the Boston Public Library, anywhere downtown, um, restaurants quite a bit. What I am kind of amazed by still is I'll come in, you know, doing what I'm doing, sitting with my friends or whatever, and then I start talking, and then somebody will say, I recognized your voice. What do you do to keep your voice in good shape to be on the air? You know, lemon juice and honey, that does work. You really should avoid dairy products. Now, here's a problem. I love dairy products. I love them. I know health people. I know. Not good for you. Don't yell at me. Don't send me an email. I know it already. And I'm trying my best to get rid of them, as, as I may. And it's not good for your voice. Spill the tea on one of your fellow on-air colleagues. Jared and I did an in-house competition about deviled eggs. You'll notice here on the table I have a deviled egg plate because any good southern woman 
has an egg plate. This is important. You just don't slap your deviled eggs on any old plate or bowl. They go in a proper egg plate. I have 13 of them. I collect them. He said his deviled eggs were the best. I said mine were, and I won. No brag, just fact. But you ask him about it, he'll, <laughs> he'll have something to say. He was not a happy camper. But it is true that I did win. So what you can gather from this is excellent cook, master barbecuist, loves wine, reads a lot. I have a secret sauce and a secret rub. Memphis is the standard. I don't want to hear what North Carolina says. That's nasty. Texas, you give your brisket. That is good. Kansas City, okay, tips and a few other things. But Memphis is the standard. I've made grown men cry. That's how good my sauce is. What's in the secret sauce that you keep at home? Uh, it's secret. <laughs> since this series is called Get the Scoop. What's your favorite ice cream flair? Jenny's Dark Chocolate. And here it is. <laughs> now, Jenny's Dark Chocolate is my favorite if you get in the grocery store because I'm an ice cream aficionado. And as you may know, New England has many homemade ice cream places. Now, if you don't like chocolate, you are not going to like this. But if you love chocolate, this is not a namby-pamby chocolate. This is this is chocolate. This is chocolate. Thanks for watching. I'm Callie Crossley, and this is Get the Scoop. I got the heat there, right?